Hello and welcome to this video. As most of you are already aware, the scheduling of interviews in the DV 2024 program has continued so far and as usual, I'm here to share with you where it currently is at your different embassies and consulates. But before we go into that, a couple of points. The first point concerns the receiving of interview notifications by DV 2024 applicants. We all have been waiting for the release of the latest SEAC data and as some of you have already seen, in the in-transit column, we still have a considerable number of data. Conclusion, the receiving of interview notifications by DV 2024 applicants will continue into the new week. So in case you have not yet received yours, then look out for it beginning Monday. However, that will not happen for applicants of all embassies. As a matter of fact, as you go through the latest SEAC data, there are signs that some embassies are already closing up on the scheduling of new interviews for the DV 2024 program. And that takes me to our next point, which concerns what I refer to as falling back of interview scheduling at some embassies and consulates. So far, you have been used to seeing the interview scheduling range at your embassy increase. But we have gotten to a point where for some embassies and consulates, the scheduling of interviews will begin to fall back. And that tells us that for those embassies concerned, there were no new cases scheduled for interview and the highest case numbers that were previously scheduled have now been interviewed. And that causes the interview scheduling range at such embassies to decrease. So in this report, you will hear for certain embassies and consulates that the interview scheduling range has fallen back. And another thing concerning the falling back of interview scheduling at some embassies and consulates is that that could be the first sign that the embassy or consulate concerned is no longer scheduling cases for the DV 2024 program. But in these things, we usually wait for the release of the next SEAC data to confirm the hypothesis. Having said that, now let's consider the status of interview scheduling at your different embassies and consulates. And our first embassy today is Havana, Cuba, which has increased to 3,300 plus case number range. In Auckland, New Zealand, the Asia region remains at 26,900 plus and the Oceania region has increased to 2,600 plus. In Amman, Jordan, the Africa region has jumped to 117,000 plus and the Asia region remains at 17,800 plus. Kathmandu, Nepal has fallen back to 11,000 300 plus. Luanda, Angola has increased to 88,500 plus. In Doha, Qatar, the Africa region has increased to 71,500 plus and the Asia region has also increased to 25,800 plus. Baghdad, Iraq has increased to 24,400 plus. In Tbilisi, Georgia, the Asia region is currently at 20,700 plus and the Europe region has increased to 32,900 plus. In Paris, France, the Africa region has increased to 82,100 plus. The Asia region remains at 14,000 plus and the Europe region remains at 29,600 plus. In Manila, the Philippines, the Africa region has increased to 78,700 plus and the Europe region remains at 20,800 plus. 
Rangoon Burma remains at 17,700 plus. Islamabad, Pakistan has fallen back to 14,600 plus. In Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, the Africa region has increased to 75,300 plus and the Asia region has also increased to 27,200 plus. In Warsaw, Poland, the Asia region remains at 21,900 plus and the Europe region has increased to 29,600 plus. Colombo, Sri Lanka remains at 10,200 plus. Cotonou, Benin remains at 78,600 plus. In Abu Dhabi, the UAE, the Africa region has fallen back to 35,000 plus. The Asia region has also fallen back to 11,400 plus and the Europe region remains at 9,500 plus. Tirana, Albania remains at 29,800 plus. The Longwe, Malawi has increased to 76,700 plus. In Napoli, Italy, the Asia region remains at 19,800 plus and the Europe region has increased to 37,300 plus. In Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, the Africa region has fallen back to 36,800 plus. The Asia region remains at 14,900 plus and the Europe region has fallen back to 7,500 plus. Libreville, Gabon remains at 72,700 plus. In Djibouti, the Africa region remains at 71,800 plus and the Asia region has increased to 17,100 plus. Tokyo, Japan has increased to 24,500 plus. Algiers, Algeria has also increased to 69,400 plus. In Kuwait, the Africa region has increased to 115,800 plus and the Asia region remains at 26,700 plus. Suba Fiji has increased to 2,600 plus. In Manama Bahrain, the Africa region remains at 74,500 plus and the Asia region remains at 18,000 700 plus. Dar es Salaam, Tanzania remains at 38,400 plus. A reminder that this is the current status of the scheduling of interviews at your different embassies and consulates. We continue with Seoul, South Korea and at that embassy, the Asia region has increased to 27,200 plus and the Europe region has also increased to 33,500 plus. Lusaka, Zambia remains at 85,400 plus. Dakar, Senegal has increased to 38,400 plus. In Mumbai, India, the Africa region has fallen back to 64,200 plus. The Asia region has increased to 16,400 plus and the Europe region has also increased to 12,800 plus. In Casablanca, Morocco, the Africa region remains at 51,800 plus and the Asia region remains at 13,600 plus. In Ankara, Turkey, the Africa region has increased to 18,600 plus, the Asia region remains at 7,300 plus and the Europe region has increased to 7,100 plus. For Yaoundé, Cameroon, the current SEAC data still shows 77,600 plus, but interview scheduling has actually gone beyond 77,600 plus at the Yaoundé, Cameroon embassy. In the next interview scheduling report, we hope to have an updated version of interview scheduling at the Yaoundé, Cameroon embassy. That's for the Africa region and the Asia region remains at 26,100 plus. 
Other than Arrivo, Madagascar remains at 62,900 plus. In London, the United Kingdom, the Africa region remains at 92,500 plus. The Asia region remains at 21,800 plus. The Europe region remains at 31,900 plus and the Oceania region remains at 2,300 plus. In Cairo, Egypt, the Africa region has increased to 50,100 plus and the Asia region has also increased to 21,800 plus. Kinshasa, the DRC remains at 16,000 plus. Freetown, Sierra Leone has increased to 77,800 plus. In Jakarta, Indonesia, the Africa region has fallen back to 66,700 plus. The Asia region remains at 21,800 plus and the Europe region also remains at 27,000 plus. In Montreal, Canada, the Africa region has increased to 88,700 plus. The Asia region has increased to 25,300 plus. The Europe region has also increased to 33,100 plus and the South America region is currently at 4,700 plus. Accra, Ghana remains at 10,700 plus. Abidjan Ivory Coast remains at 48,000 plus. In Frankfurt, Germany, the Africa region has increased to 88,900 plus. The Asia region remains at 26,500 plus and the Europe region has increased to 31,000 plus. Nairobi, Kenya has jumped to 122,500 plus. That's for the Africa region and for the Asia region, it remains at 27,300 plus. In Yerevan, Armenia, the Asia region remains at 13,300 plus and the Europe region remains at 21,300 plus. Harare, Zimbabwe has increased to 86,400 plus. Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, has increased to 29,900 plus with two cases of exception still scheduled from the 47,200 plus and the 55,200 plus case number ranges and at the Addis Embassy, the Asia region remains at 10,300 plus. Kigali, Rwanda has fallen back to 25,800 plus with a case of exception still scheduled from the 36,700 plus case number range. Monrovia, Liberia remains at 74,500 plus. However, it could be because the SEAC data for the Monrovia Embassy has not yet been updated. Johannesburg, South Africa has increased to 121,300 plus. Lome Togo remains at 73,800 plus and finally Turnus Tunisia remains at 74,300 plus. So that is it. Thanks for watching this report. See you God willing in the next video. Goodbye.